All right. We're going to go ahead and get back into low key. This is featuring Lupe Fiasco, M1, Dead Prez, and the Black Ripper. This is Obama Nation Part 2. Told y'all I was going to get to it. All day. I'll do it. You know I will. I enjoyed number one. I enjoy terrorists. So we're going to see how he ends this with the part two. And. And here we go. Global faction. What's up? Some That's his real name, say. Loki. Loki is not his real name, surprisingly enough. I'm all about it's an important line there. I'm all about peace and love. Yeah. Okay. They're calling him a terrorist. Calling him a terrorist. Okay. One nation in the world has over a thousand military bases. Can you guess who? It's. Um, uh, let me give you a hint. Cutter. It is not Luxembourg. It's not just Muslims that that oppose your imperialism. He's going to tell you who it is. Lumumba was democracy. Lumumba was democracy. Allende. <laughs> there you go. Okay, so so this is the rapper. All right, that's mm -hmm. his music. Bust a beat for me. Right? All right, sure. Glenn Beck is a racist Gaza Strip was getting bombed Obama didn't say shit After you divorce yourself From the right wing Propaganda campaign It's all simple and plain America can stand the game Your president got an African name Now who you gon' blame When they drop the bombs Out of them planes Using depleted uranium Babies looking like Two-headed aliens Follow the money trail That leads to the criminal And nothing subliminal to it That's how they do it See the game they run Give a fuck if he's cunning Articulate and handsome Afghanistan held for ransom By the hand of this black man Neo-colonial puppet White power with a black face He said fuck it I'll do it A master of the skies Expert at telling lies Then they gave him a Nobel Peace Prize Should've known he was trained in Chicago Word the chairman Fred and Mark Clark What they do in the dark Will come out in the light Like a WikiLeaks site So I guess Nkrumah was right Who's ready to fight Last stage of imperialism I ain't kidding In the immortal words of Marvin Gaye This ain't living Obama the bomber getting ready for Syria First black president, the masses were hungry But the same president just bombed an African country no, like right. Strip was 
getting bomb, Obama didn't say shit. The Jonas Brothers are here. They're out there somewhere. Sasha and Malia are huge fans. But uh, boys don't get any ideas. I have two words for you. Predator drones. <laughs> you will never see it coming. You think I'm joking? Afghanistan. I mean, the cool thing is most of all this information is out in the public. Like, it's dead out there for you to be able to see it. It's not hidden. A lot of people think, like, when they want to know if a country actually bombed another country, like, they're going to be like, man, they're not going to tell you that. Or, man, you can't find that. Yeah, you can. Actually, all you have to do is just look at the news from the country that was bombed. Huh. It's crazy, isn't it? It's out there. You know how many drones I've seen? I mean, uh, surveillance drones I've seen by looking at other countries' news and seeing that they're sitting there talking about, hey, this comes from America. USA written right on it. <laughs> like, this man bombed. This man bombed a country that had, like, nothing. <laughs> How are you going to bomb a country that already is like famine stricken? For what? Tell you something, the use of power it is a damn shame. It is a damn shame. Y'all can sit back here and act like this shit ain't real you want to. They've been stealing resources from countries just like the British Empire was stealing resources from countries. And you would think with all this technology we have, we couldn't find another way to do things, to live. I mean, if Tesla was, Tesla was working on making energy free, but where, then, but then who's gonna profit? So then now we have to pay for it. You know what I mean? Damn shame. I spoke too much on this already, though. This is why other countries hate that red, white, and blue flag. Because it's always trying to stick somewhere where it don't belong. But, you know, it's going to take something really, really devastating over here to get that through people's heads. Because they don't, as long as nothing's happening, then they don't believe it. So then something actually has to happen. Which is stupid. You think people want to learn their lesson before things happen, but they're about learning it after something devastating has happened. That lets you know how you have a real slave mentality of a country. Anyway, that's going to do it for this reaction. Oh. Hopefully. One day we can change. I don't know if it's going to happen in my lifetime. Probably not. I'll probably be dead before someone actually says, Hey, what if we come together and work together to make sure everybody had everything that they need? Need is the key word, though. Not want. Need. Nixon. Don't want.